Hello there, welcome back to Orwell. We are moving into episode 2, day 2 today, but just as a quick refresher as to what happened last time. I mean, basically the big thing we need to know is that we accidentally... Accidentally? Uh, I don't know about that word, but we killed Oleg. Yes. We gave enough information about Oleg to Ampleford to make her think that he's a traitor, and she decided to immediately terminate him. Raban Vart basically took advantage of that and made it look like the government, the nation's government, was killing a Pargesian officer for pretty much no reason. So we're gonna see what happens today. Or I guess tomorrow? Episode 2, Antithesis. Welcome back, Agent. We have a little bit of cleanup to do today, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we? There is a massive fallout due to our little intervention. The national beholder is met with public distrust, and by extension, so is the government. Our unorthodox approach to solve the situation has been met with scrutiny. Whose fault is that? It has sparked hateful discourse between the citizens of Parges and the nation. President Kazard has urged Prime Minister Blaine to clarify the circumstances of what exactly happened. Now, Kazard is the president of Parges, Blaine is the nation. Blaine is planning on traveling to Triflith tomorrow. We'll leave the politics to them. Instead, let's make sure our favorite journalist, Raban Vart, doesn't interfere. See what he's up to. Okay, whatever you say, lady. 8 a.m. again! What's the weather like? Today is going to be a cloudy day, but also slightly warmer. We might see short rain showers in the early afternoon. There are no facts, only interpretations. Nietzsche. Yeah, I guess that's always been the theme of Orwell. What is the truth? Is there a truth? Okay, what's going on in, in the news today? Oh, there's a lot of updates, huh? We can start from the bottom. Hmm. Okay, people were logging on today, this morning, really early in the morning. Oh, Raban cleared cash. Ilya verified profile. Is that computer... Is that an ID that we can take? Not for the time being, at least. Okay. There's no more drafts, because he published all of them. <laughs> yeah. Alright. The National Beholder. Connection between Bonton bombings evident. Bonton, attacks against Stelligan University and Bonton and Freedom Plaza are connected, experts conclude. This might be something we've read already, but to be honest, I don't remember this one, so I'm gonna quickly skim it. The bombing that occurred yesterday at Stelligan University seems to be connected to the attack against the Freedom Plaza earlier this week. This is the conclusion of the police division who is investigating the cases. In both assaults, a similar explosive device, created with pure malevolence, appear to have been used, police spokeswoman Steely said. The letters received prior to the assaults seem to support this suspicion. While their meaning is still puzzling investigators, according to rumors, people have been theorizing the number of stanzas might represent the number of bombings, which in turn raises the question whether there might be another bombing yet to occur. We understand that some people might jump to this conclusion, but there is no good reason to believe this, Steely answered when confronted with this theory during a press conference. Meanwhile, Stelligan University has declared that normal operation cannot continue under the circumstances, so they will be closing their doors for the time being. The university has also put up a special front page to pay their respects to the assault's victims. See above image. Yeah, that's for the Bonton bombings. Marginally related, but they might actually come together later on, huh? Timelines and Rosen announce cooperation. Ah, that's uh, Cassandra Watergate's... Is that related to that? No, Timelines is Facebook. Rosen... Was that the medical thing? Oh, Software Giant. I think we've also seen this. I vaguely, vaguely remember it. Yeah, basically, Facebook Timelines is collaborating with... some other giant. Maybe Google? Internet billionaire siblings Ada and Alan Davenport. Yeah, timelines. They are going to work together. It's pretty much all this says. Our growing user base will profit from this by significantly reduced downtimes, 
tightened security, <laughs> and a sped up integration of new features. Nothing about the privacy. Heavy rainstorms expected for the weekend. Oh, this is interesting. So, after the whole Raban Var thing, the National Beholder hasn't updated with anything about that yet, huh? Okay. Bonton and Farview covered in heavy rain clouds. If you had any plans for the outdoors, you better forget about them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Rosen. Yes. That was also in part one, but I can't remember exactly what role they played. Okay, the people's voice. Ooh, okay. The silence of the government's media, Lambs. Yes, the national beholder has been completely silent so far. Hmm. My god. That was from today. Hashtag media corruption, hashtag white lies. White lies? Isn't that usually a term for something that's a lie but inconsequential or good for you? Doesn't sound like a fitting hashtag for you, but let's, uh, let's keep reading. White lies, no matter how small, are still lies. The news that you read every day is selected with editors wielding the power of what is disclosed and what is deliberately hidden from public eye. This corruption of the mainstream media says a lot about the power of the nation's government and their intentions. I am, of course, referring to the fact that the nation's agents murdered an officer of the Pargesian army, Oleg Bekay. To cover their tracks, they started to spread disparaging reports that I, the editor of this publication, was responsible for inciting his disappearance. Bekay's disappearance and the cover story that I was to blame Surely, it would have been two juicy scandals that mainstream media would love to have reported on. However, the National Beholder did no such thing. There was no report on the murder of an important figure of Parja's, nor was there a report of my supposed involvement. Getting facts wrong is very much in line with what we are used to by the TNB's reporting. Yet we are utterly disappointed by this new level of ignorance. Sadly, it shows once more how these lambs follow the instructions of the national government without questioning or showing responsibility for their duty to report the truth to the public. Yeah, hmm. But the National Beholder, like, official publications, they might be slower because they want to get the facts straight. A few years ago, the Boston bombing in real life, there was a whole thing about how Reddit was trying to hunt down the bomber, but they got the wrong person and yeah, so making sure, making sure that they get the facts right, that's really important too. And you maybe, you might want to compromise a little bit of speed for that. Okay, Twitter. People's voice. Why is the national beholder staying silent about the latest government scandal? Hashtag media corruption. The betrayal by our government will not go unpunished. The people's voice will fight back against our so-called President Kazard. He's somehow linking all of this back to the president? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the article. Yeah, people are listening to Raban. Blaine is a murderer and a liar! We need to stop him! Hashtag blame on Blaine. The national government are liars and traitors to their people and we have proof. Ooh, what proof is that? Oh, that's the, that's the original article. It is kind of damning if, if the government doesn't respond to it, huh? Because the footage looks really bad. Seems like that's all the new stuff we have so far. Do we have to look anywhere in particular? Or maybe we have to, oh, it's all offline now. We have to put in that one chunk here. Promised his followers to attack Hazard today. What kind of attack, though? See, I'm a little bit... I feel like I'm always a little hesitant about this now, because... The picture that we put in earlier with Oleg and the president shaking hands, that seemed like it was misunderstood by Ampleford. And by us, too, maybe, because... It was supposed to be like a medal ceremony, but she interpreted it as them talking in secret. So when you say... Promise to attack. 
It could just be writing a whole bunch of crap on Twitter, or he could actually be marching out onto the streets and attacking him. We don't know which one it is. But I think we need to put this one in to advance. Who would have thought Raban wouldn't be satisfied with what he has achieved yesterday? I take it you will be most pleased to assist him with not being able to keep this promise. But to do that, we'll need to find out what exactly this attack comprises first. Exactly. Ooh. Ilya and Karen. Brother and wife? Uh, Raban, what? What time is it? Time to wake up, brother. Hey, what is it? Uh, K Karen? Ilya? Why a conference call? What's going on? My love, my brother. I called early so I could warn you both. Warn us? What about? You both are aware of the storm yesterday's announcement has created. Y yeah, there was hardly a way around it with social media. I... I still don't quite get how you pulled that off. These photos, how did you get them? Were the shelter's cameras still working? Is, is this why you kept that old notebook? Don't rack your brains over it. I only did the necessary thing to expose the lies of the national beholder. Now, with the world seeing the beholder for what it really is, and finally shifting their attention to the people's voice, I'm ready to take the next step. This evening, I will send out a provocation against President Puppet. Narcissistic and self-centered as he is, he won't be able to ignore it. Raban, honey, what are you getting yourself into? You don't have to do this. I'm not getting myself into anything. I have always been right at the center of it. What is this going to achieve? What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? I want my country back. I call to warn you about the consequences. The people's voice will gain even more attention, and it won't only be from our followers. The nation's government, Kassat's close allies, nationalists and patriots, they will all try to hurt me, find an excuse to arrest and extradite me, but I won't give them any reason to. And you won't either. Uh, of course not. Leave us out of your plans, Raban. We want nothing to do with them. Don't you understand? It's not my choice. They are not giving me an option. There's always a choice. No, not always. I'm relying on you both. If there is any weakness between us, they will find it, and they will exploit it. You are the only people that I trust. The only people that matter to me. I've got work to do now. Goodbye. Uh, Karen, uh, are you... are you... Yeah, yeah, I'm... Uh, I can't. Let's not talk now, please. Okay. Uh, in case you do want to talk, so you know... I do. Bye, Ilya. Bye. Huh. That was a little bit interesting. Ilya and Karen. Are they hiding something? It doesn't sound like... Yeah, it sounded like they were gonna talk about something here. Raban's right though. Even if we try to look for Raban's stuff, if he tries to hide it, then maybe he can be successful if he's by himself. But he also has Karen and Ilya, and that's... It's a good way for us to get information on Raban. Through Ilya and Karen, for us. And also, Karen and Ilya might be attacked by people on social media again. Yeah? This evening, I will send out a provocation. Is aiming to provoke his arrest via an article scheduled for Friday evening. Oh, an article? Arrest? How? Are you gonna be like, yep, I'm responsible for it? That sounds... important. Damn it! Vart will, without a doubt, find a way to provoke Kazard. The Pargesian president isn't exactly known for his mild temperament. But if we kick down Vart's door and arrest him, Kazard will insist he is extradited, entailing an outrage by his followers. Either outcome could cause this delicate powder keg we're setting on to explode, which is exactly what Vart wants. No. Hmm. We need to be smart, vigilant, tough. We need a more subtle approach. 
Oh, gee, why didn't you think of this before we killed Oleg? Is there anything else worth mentioning? Okay, well, you want this, right? It's pretty much the only thing here. Ha! <laughs> Hypocrisy! If Raban is so worried about his wife and his brother, why is he willingly, willfully, putting them in danger in the first place? Hmm. This makes me wonder whether Ilya and Karen have something worth digging up. Yes! I was just thinking about that too. Since we can't attack Vart directly, we're gonna have to go after the people he cares about the most, Karen and Ilya. I want you to dive deep into their lives and dig up any dirt you can, you can find. Anything illegal or reprehensible, we can use against them. I will turn both Ilya and Karen into target persons. You, Agent, are now fully in charge of how to approach this. Investigate at your own discretion. I suggest you decide for one of them and pursue what seems promising to you. But the choice is up to you. I won't hold your hand. No matter what, keep in mind Vart has planned his provocation for the evening. Get me something useful before he can put it out there. Okay, seems like we might only be able to focus on one person. Evening! What's your definition of the evening? Like 6 p.m.? Ooh, his computer is on again. Yeah, I might as well take a look again. Is there anything new, though? Yeah. Karen, Ilya, Raban. Karen and Ilya. I don't think there was anything new here, was there? He just turned it on, that's all. Yeah, if there was something new, it would have said, I think. Mm-hmm. Nah, the phone is dead. God. Ah, now we can go into their Facebooks. Home? Was there anything in home? Oh, Ilya Vart, lead editor. We could put it in, but we are on a time schedule right now, so let's let's just look around first. We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Karen Levine Vart, refugee counselor at the Rehab Council. <laughs> That's not... She's living in Bonton. Bonton is... I mean, Bonton's huge. I don't think that's gonna be much help. No. Karen, my thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the victims of the Bonton bombing. So, how does Raban feel about her- How does Raban feel about his wife linking to the National Beholder? Is that like a no-no? I didn't really get the impression that she was too supportive of anything he's doing right now. Eugene, I just don't get it. How can anyone sacrifice the lives of innocent people just because they disagree with some laws? Steven, you must admit though, that the safety bill is pretty messed up. Granted, the safety bill was a mistake, but the Gov also does a lot of great work. The Parge's peacekeeping mission, for example, has calmed the situation there quite a bit. I agree, and I'm saying this as a Pargesian citizen. Having a lovely time at Bonton City Park on April 7th. I organized this get-together specifically for the refugees and a National Army veteran I am counseling who courageously rejected the war and left the army. Oh, is that the person? The her? They are getting along very well with each other. We all invite you to join and eat, talk and laugh together. Everyone welcome. Okay. I don't see anyone here that I recognize in particular. Scott. Love your effort, but I don't think it's a good idea to post this much photos of everywhere you've been on that hologram page. I heard it's not that secure. Really would have loved to join you, have fun. Thanks so much for organizing this, Karen. You are a true gem and I loved working with you on this truly unique event. She's pretty compassionate. That's what you gotta be to be a, um, a counselor, a social worker person. Dear Karen, Stephen, I cannot thank you enough for what you did for me and my family. Thank you for all your help and for being such a wonderful person. It was my pleasure. I wish you and your family all the best. Helping out at Bonson reception camp today, things can be very difficult for refugees and I know it's not that easy to speak up, 
If you have any problems you would like to talk about, don't hesitate to drop me a line. Karen, you're such an angel. Your work is important and great. Keep up the great work. Thanks for always being there for us, Karen. It sounds like most of the people on her timelines are the people she's helping. Seems like there's an important information here. She organizes festivities, counsels a deserted army veteran, is counseling Parjesian refugees. Okay. Not... Uh... Again, time limit, so I'm very aware of that right now. Yeah. Let's try not to put in anything until they make me. I want to stick by my guns on this one this time, because last time I was kind of like, uh, I don't want to leave it off till the end because I might forget about it. But you know what? We can't forget about it, right? Because if we do, then we can't move on. So it's fine. Ilya. Oh yeah, captain of the starship USS Voyager. Ho 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 ho. <laughs> okay. Likes gaming, geocaching, writing, retro sci-fi, trains, robot dinosaurs, fantasy novels. Ooh, so looking at my bank account, I got myself the cash to quit my Watergate job soon. Trademark. Then I'll finally be goodbye, Bonton. Ooh, this sounds like juicy information. Hey, that's the pharmaceutical company, Watergate. Oh my god, maid, how could you do this to me? You were the only good person there, I must admit. I'm a bit jealous, but I'm also really happy for you. Where'd the money come from? Wow, didn't see that coming. Good for you, Ilya. Congrats. Oh no, Ilya. Sad to see you go. What the fuck? Aren't you chronically broke? <laughs> this is terrible. How can anyone be so stupid to think this will change anything? It's a shame that this iconic monument is now gone. Are you kidding me, Ilya? This is clearly Blaine's fault. Driving all the attention to the perpetrator is distracting people from the real problem. That the government of the nation is corrupt. Ah. Uh, okay. Everyone knows this is fabricated. I think it's likely that this was done by the government itself. It's all a big lie. Can't believe you're spreading this fake propaganda. His friends are kind of more like Raban, huh? Ideologically. Uh, that's a... T I don't know. If I see a bombing, is my first reaction really to think that the government is corrupt? Wow, the president is really not well liked here. Lol, I guess Sumishi Aran will never finish A Hundred Grey Shadows. Just read the latest blabber bashing between Avon and McDeal. Worst couple ever. Yeah, I remember talking about this in the first one before, but that's like how you would say Alan Smithy in Japanese. And that's the fake name that a lot of film directors use when they don't want to be associated with a project. Wait. Huh. Did you go watch this movie? Rhubarb Productions, alright. Why are you posting this? It's just some crap that this bullshit media outlet uses to try to distract you from the really important issues. Jeez, what's wrong with this guy, man? People gotta relax too, they can't be thinking about political stuff all day long. Didn't realize you were into these romantic movies. Wink. Are you gonna watch it in the theater? Well, if they ever release it, but nah, it would be weird to go see a movie like that by myself. And, you know, since I'm still single, no chance. He's single. Yeah, that's what I was wondering when I saw this poster too, cause usually... Usually! Maybe you want to go watch it with your significant other. We finally need to hold those people who are truly accountable for the mess that our country is in. Blame Blaine. That's from last year. Our government is corrupt, and that is a fact. They have done nothing good for us or our people so far. Couldn't agree more. This government needs to be changed. People of Parjas, please try to stay safe. My thoughts are with you. I can't believe this happened again. Back in October last year. Okay, so it seems like at some point, around here, December 7th last year, and this one's this year now. Somewhere between 2016 and 2017, he used to be very outspoken about his politics and stuff, but um, after it rolled into 2017, he didn't really comment on that stuff anymore. No. Even when he posted about the bombing, he didn't say anything about the government being corrupt. Yeah, and this guy was mad because they used to think similarly, but he's like, are you kidding me? Why are you posting this now? Are you on their side? Hmm. 
Okay. So I think we, uh... Yeah. Ample Ford recommends that we focus on one person at a time. And so far... So far. Okay, you know what? Even stuff like birthday. That stuff is not important, right? Portrait? It's not important until... We have to go find them or something. Yeah. Do I even want to put the picture in there? I feel so stingy about my chunks, my chunk time. I think this sounds important though. Does that mean that we're going to focus on Ilya? Not necessarily. I'm just gonna put in this one because it sounds fishy. Ooh. Hmm. I wonder whether his brother is aware of these intentions. Far more interesting to us is how he made enough money to start over. He could just be bluffing, but it might be worthwhile checking out. I suggest you follow the money. Okay. What was the other thing you had here? He's single. That's kind of a... Uh, I'll keep it in mind. I know it. Ampleford doesn't. Yeah, Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Ilya Vart. Oh, phone number. That's definitely good. Ilya joined the lab assistance team in Watergate in early June 2013 after leaving the outer bonded reception camp he had been assigned to. Yeah, fits the story. Mm -hmm, after immigrating here. He is a reliable member of our laboratory workforce, and the lab wouldn't be the same without him. <laughs> I don't think that's a good one to be conflicting, huh? <laughs> is he a reliable worker or not? His tasks are specifically arranged to support the team around sections C and B of the Watergate product line, which are assigned to further develop Watergate products on the one hand and explore and research potential new pharmaceuticals on the other. Ooh, okay. Wait, he works there now, right? Hold on. Is this employment start date? Plans to quit his job and leave Bonton. Can I read the timelines again? I was under the impression that he quit already. No, he's still working there right now. So he works at Watergate full-time, and then his part-time side job is editing the blog. Okay. This is good. We have some... Yeah, we have some date data here. I'm surprised they would just put this on the website. Oh, maybe it's because it's a private... Yeah, employee network. Okay. Seems like he was at work on April 10, 11, 12, not 13. He was not at work on April 13th, yesterday. And today, yeah, these ones we don't know yet because it didn't happen yet. Could be interesting. No. Today, urgent memo, critical supplies are missing. Dear Watergate employee Ilya Vart, you are receiving this memo because you did not log in during your scheduled shift yesterday. Oh, wait. The moment I read critical supplies are missing, I'm thinking, did he get money from selling pharmaceuticals? Please provide a statement describing the reasons for your failure to log in ASAP. If you fail to do so by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, you will receive an immediate termination of your employment contract. Wow, they are really strict here. Furthermore, it has come to the attention of management that critical medical supplies are missing from our local inventory. According to our internal audit, this stuff is missing. Spirin, Zamirolin, Compensum, for rural active, no idea what any of those are. We urge you to help clarify the circumstances of your own presence as well as the disappearance of these medications. The date of removal has been pinpointed to yesterday. Ooh. I don't think he's coming back. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> As you are aware, our inventory team is stringent when it comes to recording all products coming into the warehouse and all of those that are signed out for either sales or humanitarian efforts. These packages need to be accounted for as soon as possible. Thanks. It seems to me like preliminarily that he just grabbed that shit and he's gonna go sell it and he's quitting his job maybe what time was the he posted this yesterday at 10 p.m 
Looking at my bank account, I feel rich. Gonna quit my job soon. Tomorrow soon or... What? Need my report now, from April 10th. Ilya, I need the report about my findings on the nutritional pace tests by the end of the day. It needs to be submitted to the head of section B tonight so they can go over the test results and bring them to the department head's meeting tomorrow. Sorry, I won't have time. My work on production and testing for the next supply drop for the armed forces takes priority. Working on army supplies. Hmm. What? The order is much bigger than we anticipated. Since when do you get to make those calls around here? I'm your damn supervisor. Nah, I don't think that's important. I'm aware of that. This is more urgent. Look, I don't know what the hell is up with you lately. You've been coming in late, you've been back chatting, you also keep swapping shifts on short notice, which continuously causes confusion. Is he reliable or not? I know who your brother is. With the shit that's going on around here, the last thing the Watergates will want is the brother of a radical, free speech writer working in Section C. Don't make me send you back to that refugee camp you crawled out of. If you fire me, it will take you months to find a new assistant and you will fall way behind schedule. The army isn't going to be happy with that news. So go on, keep sending these idle racist threats, wasting my time. Racist? What, because he said refugee camp? Time I could be using to finish up that report you so desperately need. Talk to me like this again, you'll get a written warning. Get me that report as soon as possible. Sure thing, boss. Oh, I think this is probably the more accurate one, because it's really recent. And also, the thing that you read on people's profiles, this is his job profile. It's gonna be like a resume, it's just whatever. Just fancy, fancy good talk, no truths. Last night, April 9th. Roland El Ellison? Shit, you smashed me good last night. Congrats again. Haha, <laughs> thanks. It was a pleasure. What? Seriously, since when have you been so good at Hob? H-O-B? I've always been this good. You just didn't know it yet. You don't miss a chance to rub it in, huh? No, sir. Oh, by the way, I have a date coming up on April 13th. Date? Could you take my shift from me? I'll owe you big time. Ha! First you destroy me, and now you come crawling for a favor. Another date? Another. Seems like you're getting nowhere, my boy. Why bother switching shifts? Yeah, you know. Luck at cards, unlucky in love. Will you do it? I would, but Matt would fire both of us if he finds out. Seems to have it in for you lately. No problem. We'll just switch unofficially. What Matt doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Won't hurt him. Might hurt you, though. Come on, it's not like it's illegal. We'll just switch off the hooks. They won't know anything happened. I need to go on this date. Wow, must be an amazing woman. You know what? I'll do it. But you'll seriously owe me for this one. I'll be totally indebted to you. Thanks, mate. We learned that he was still single by the time that Fifty Shades of Grey movie came out. So that came out during Valentine's Day. It's April now. Well, I suppose that means he might not be single now. Good thing we didn't put that one in, huh? Some woman that he's in love with. So sometimes I find that when it's a conflicting chunk, I feel like I should put it in because if it's not important, why would it be conflicting? But, um, yeah, I'll leave it alone for now. For now. Browser history. You looked up Demjin Kazard. Dirty secrets. Wow, great. Okay. Yeah, there's also that Perco Leaks site that we can upload things onto, but uh, I don't know if we want to do that. And we have nothing to give him anyway. Okay, back to this. So he's not single. Can we disable that so we get it out of the way? Def no, that was March. That's one month ago. I don't think he's single. No. No. We already put that one in, so I think the timeline is done for now. Unless we want to put in the basics here, which shot uh, definitely not this one. Yeah, more precise data was submitted. Screw that. I don't care about what he's interested in, do I? I guess not. Mm, his phone number. 
Yes, internal work phone. We might not find anything juicy on there, but I guess we gotta try. It feels like I've just somehow... I'm searching Ilya now. I'm not even thinking about Karen anymore. Hmm. We'll only catch up calls from there whenever Ilya's at work. So not today then. God damn it. God damn it. Does it matter when he started working here? I feel like maybe not. Didn't log in. I want to put in the one where it says that he's not a good worker, but uh... Presence at work during the late shift of April 13th, unclear. Mm, yeah, that is kind of fishy. Missing supplies at Ilya's workplace, and it's unclear whether he was there or not. Smells dirty. If you could somehow prove Ilya was present and able to steal supplies, we could go for an arrest on him. Check his alibi. Find out what he was doing at the time the supplies disappeared. Arrest? Do we really want to be making arrests so frequently? Dang. Hold on. Alibi. And we gotta figure out where the money came from, too. Yeah. Home. Yes, that's his alibi. Hmm, well, he planned on going on a date on April 13th, which means that he was... Yes. Wait, verify? Wait, I'm a little bit confused right now because I thought she said to verify that he wasn't at work. But then it directly says that verify that he was on the date. Well, does him saying I have a date mean that we verify it? <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Pretty vague plan. See whether you can confirm he really was on a date instead of working. Ah, ah, you're right, you're right. That was vague. Well, I don't feel like... Oh. Well, he didn't... He didn't, um... Yeah, we know he wasn't at work. But why wasn't he at work? That's what we gotta figure out. No calls? Do we want to move to Karen a little bit then? It's only 9am right now, I think we will have time. Maybe. Army supplies. I don't want to put this one in yet because this one really is like a... You're making a narrative inside your head and then filling it kind of thing. So I'll keep that to myself for now. But I'm telling you right now that even though it's only 9am, I'm having quite some trouble keeping everything straight in my head. What do I know? What does Ampleford know? And yeah, it's, it's not good. <laughs> okay. Karen. Karen. Karen yesterday was posting about the bombing. I feel like there's not really much about Karen that we can learn here, except for this whole, yeah, this counseling, Parjesian, refugees and deserted army veteran thing but okay okay we gotta chase the threads ah a deserter that's unusual deserters aren't granted social support easily in fact due to the safety bill they are even prohibited from it oh perhaps she's counseling this deserter illegally we should have look we should look into this matter I'll recommend you search for official documentation on this veteran. Files, schedules, everything you can get your hands on. Report anything that seems fishy about this veteran to me immediately. Just cause Ampleford says that, we don't actually have to listen to her. It's probably good that we do, but I'm just saying man, we don't have to listen to her. Especially cause she already got someone killed. Deserter! Rejected the war and left the army. So someone in the National Army, Army of the Nation. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? Kazard is a liar. He's writing it already. Kazard is not who he appears to be. Our President Kazard is nothing but a hypocrite. 
He is the one who incites conflicts, but he never solves them. This whole mess our country is in is his fault. Plus, he looks like his hair has been tumble dried too hot, and then dragged through a puddle of horse diarrhea. I can't really write that. <laughs> okay, he's working on it. We know he's working on it. Oh, now we can- oh. Oh, why couldn't we do that before? Oh, because he wasn't a target person, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna get his computer. Hell yeah. That's where we find the proof of his date. Alright, but back to Karen for now. Oh, hologram image board. So is that like imager? These pictures are marked as public. Rehabilitation Council, Bonton. Thank you for the beautiful flowers, everyone. Best co-workers ever. It seems like Raban's, Raban's inflammatory journalism work is at such an odds with Karen's social worker work. And she's not very careful about her private life either. She's putting a lot of pictures everywhere of herself. Awesome street art and Bonton. We have the power to love each other no matter what. Make love, not war. Address. Just getting started at Bonton Rehab Council summer get together. Come by and bring your kids. Refugees welcome. She's really kind. Forget about the yeah. Forget about the freaking pictures. That's it though. No, it's just for viewing. Not much we can do here. Wait, what was that? How come it keeps like highlighting? Oh, insert location name or address here to search through your album. More than what we can see here. Can we search for what she... Okay, location, name, or address. Well, this is not a location, name, or address, but it doesn't hurt. No. Location. Location. Do we have any location so far? Wheelchair. I got it. <laughs> no. Outer Bonson Reception Camp? That could be one, because she works there, but she shouldn't be taking pictures during work anyway. Oh, whoa. Whoa, hey, something good actually came out of me putting this in the address section, huh? <laughs> My first meeting with these two would have never guessed at the time what was to come. Sounds ominous. Oh, because you married one of them. Hmm. No dates on this, unfortunately. Bonten? <laughs> That's so vague. Yeah. Prava Secondary? Karen is from the nation, so she shouldn't have been to Parjas before. But there's no really any harm in putting this in, right? So might as well try it. Yeah, but I think that's all the locations we have. Hey, I'm happy! This, uh, this wrong one actually resulted in something. <laughs> Was that all we had? Radka? Oh, that's the... The daughter. Oh god, we killed her dad! Yeah, this David Johns figure. We don't even know who that is either. 